Hey guys, it's Rob Super with Paperless Student. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to effectively use your iPad Pro with your laptop. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. Most of these tips will work for MacBooks as well, but I'm mostly focusing on PCs because I use a PC myself. Please note that there are so many ways of doing this. I personally use different methods depending on what subject I'm studying and my workflow for that week. So I will walk you through my typical study setup. I use my PC and my iPad Pro 12.9 inches. I realize that I really like the big screen and even though it can accommodate two applications using split view, I prefer to have the full screen whenever I can and to have my full pages and I avoid zooming in and zooming out. So I just prefer using my screen like traditional notebooks and paper. So for this study session, I was studying OBS. I have a couple of study materials that I opened up on my PC. I have Microsoft Word open with my syllabus and I have some short lecture notes as well open in Word. I have several textbooks opened in Foxit Reader. Um, this is a free PDF reader. It does really basic stuff. So I like using this when I don't have to be working on the PDF. I have one more textbook opened in Explorer I don't even know what format this book is in. When I opened it, it just opened in Windows Explorer. I was like, hmm, that's new. Then on my iPad Pro, I have Notability, obviously. I usually have my screen split 25 to 75 in landscape and the small window is usually for Safari because I tend to Google and view a lot of diagrams when I study. Diagrams just make sense to me. If I'm not using Safari, I have one more textbook on my iPad Pro in liquid text. This is my main textbook. So I use this book 90% of the time and I take it with me everywhere I go just in case I need to study when I'm not at home. There are times when I need to study on the go and for that I have Google Drive. Google offers you 15 gigabytes free space for every Gmail email address that you have which is great. So I have a copy of all my study material on Google. Yes, I literally back up all my study material on Google. This means that when I need to study away from home I can just access it from Google Drive. And whenever I want to open a document on my PC from Notability, I upload it as a PDF to Google. Then I'll download it onto my PC. And currently I have these notes for rough notes for dermatology. So unfortunately for Notability, there is no uh, Windows version and the Notability team has informed me that they are not going to be creating one anytime soon. They're still focusing on iOS and macOS. Yeah, that sucks, but um, that's unfortunately the reality of our current situation. And one last thing that I'll talk about is Office 365. I mostly use this for viewing and creating PowerPoints and Word documents. And Microsoft comes with two ways to save everything that you create or view in the application. You can save your files locally. And this option I use when I want to create files on my PC that I will only use on my PC. And I don't need them on my iPad Pro. 
when I need to see the files on my iPad Pro then I save the files to OneDrive and then they get synchronized across all my devices. I hope you guys found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what challenges you guys are facing with your workflow or what solutions you found for your PC iPad Pro combination. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.